Google glasses, people. Google, if you're using your cell phone to text and tweet and make calls, that's, that's old school already. Glasses, we're all gonna be wearing this pair of $1,500 glasses that is gonna record everything you do and you're gonna be texting from your glasses and watching videos and uploading them and downloading them. Google put out a video, let's take a look. Okay, glass, record a video. This is it, we're on in two minutes. Okay, glass, hang out with the flying club. Google photos of tiger heads. Hmm. You ready? You ready? Right there. Okay, glass, take a picture. All right, so this wonderful video, you're gonna wear these glasses, suddenly you'll wanna jump out of a plane and do all kinds of stuff that you normally wouldn't do. But I really, truly believe this is going to be the worst thing ever. We are going, our privacy, the little bit of privacy that we have left is going to suddenly disappear because everyone you talk to is going to be recording you at all times. Desi, what do you think? Well, actually, when I first read about this, the first thing that popped into my mind is that that would violate California wiretap law. You are not Ooh. allowed to videotape oh. people without their consent and then post it. I mean, that's the whole thing about the James O'Keefe hoax videos with Acorn. You know, there was a settlement that that Acorn worker got because James, well, he wasn't uh, uh, criminally prosecuted. He got right. uh, immunity to give up the unedited tapes, but that's against the law. Don't you think that Google, just because of their money and influence, will somehow, oh, they're going to yeah. say it's not videotaping, it's, you know, digitally. They'll probably try paper. to get away with it in some fashion. That's not like they don't have lawyers to do that or lobbyists. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. you know, it's not against the law in all states. You know, that's uh, specifically what's against the law in California is that you must have explicit permission to do so and to post it. So that would be an interesting legal issue about that. But the other part about that that really gets to me mm -hmm. is that the Google spokesman in uh, the link that you sent to me, she said that behavior Behaviors and social norms will develop over time. I have that quote here. I'm glad you read it. Okay, incredible. I think this is incredible that Google's saying we're going to put out something that is going to so shift the way we all act and the way we all behave that you're just going to have to join us for the ride and, and you have no choice. And we'll clean yeah. up the mess later. Yeah, now, H. Allen, you're the only one here with glasses, so I feel like <laughs> you're the expert. Taping all of you right now. <laughs> yeah, you're the expert here, so take it away. I got to talk to privacy real quick. I, 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 I don't mind the idea of somebody taping me, not because I ha like attention, but because <laughs> I feel not. like that's where we're going. That's not that they're, now they're not commenting on, well they might be commenting on me, I don't know. We live in that world now. The world is changing, just like when people were fearing t what telephones would do or what electricity would do. This is a part of that, that we shouldn't just be fighting it. Yeah. We should be acknowledging it, definitely setting up laws that protect people like the California law, but we should be acknowledging that changes are happening and then working that into the system where we feel comfortable in our democracy. Yeah. I don't think we should just be saying no to it, but I will say the quote that you read about Google, it's also the owner of the bar said, I'm a thought leader. Someone, that's a weird quote. <laughs> yeah, so that someone calls let's, let's get to that. So we jumped ahead here. So there is a bar in, uh, where is it, Seattle. in Seattle, where the, the bar owner has already said, even though this stuff isn't even on the market, it's not yeah. even coming out till the end of the year, the owner of the bar has said, our bar, uh, you know, our, our patrons are here for privacy, not to be recorded. We're banning this. This thing that doesn't even exist, we're preemptively banning it. Everyone's into preemption these yeah. days. Adam, do you want these glasses? What are you gonna do with I these mean, glasses? I mean, I'm usually wearing beer goggles anyway in, in, in a bar, so <laughs> yeah. this, but uh, there was, yeah, but, <laughs> but there's a part of, I mean, then I was thinking that like, my mind goes to like, all right, now my girlfriend's been trying to see if I'm cheating on her, you know, having her friend wear them to like spy on people, you know, and yeah. then, but, and then, you know, there's a whole thing of like, okay, let's say you go to a bar and you hook up with a chick who's not attractive because you're drunk, you could Photoshop her the next day in your head. You know, oh, she yeah. was the hottest girl, but now with these glasses, there's no Photoshopping. You're actually gonna see how <laughs> ugly the person it's was. It's eternal sunshine in the spotless <laughs> mind happening. There basically. are so many <laughs> layers of issues here that I didn't even think of when I was doing my research for this. In incredible. What, what do you guys think? Does any of this stuff make us happier? Now look, I say this as an addicted tweeter. I love Twitter, I'm on it all day. But does any of this make us happy or, or actually connect us more? We think it, it all connects there's us. A, there's a difference. You're, you're on Twitter because your job is to be a social commentator and you want your own TV show and this is your job to get fans and that's how you want to spread to the masses. You have a reason to be on Twitter. Okay. There are people on Twitter all day 
I'm eating a sandwich, you know, look, it's nice out, I'm going to bed. I mean, yeah. and those are people who should not be on Twitter because, I mean, not to be I a judge, that. but it's like, come on. I mean, yeah. they're just avoiding everything. It's, there is a, a whole level of like, I don't care. What, like I went on Instagram, oh, yeah. I'll do Instagram. I'm looking at people's food. Like, I wouldn't, if I was, yeah. if I was yeah. on a if date If you were with, with them, that, you I wouldn't want to look at their food. No, no, why yeah. do I want to see your lunch? Like, 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 no, no, I disagree. I think it's a part, I agree that people shouldn't be tweeting about their food. I'm definitely <laughs> against that. But I do think that, and I, this is from a personal experience, but when I was diagnosed with cancer, there's a conversation happening with people online who are tweeting about their food, yeah. who then see something like I'm tweeting about my own situation, and then they're able to connect in a way that is so far beyond it just being my job as a writer comedian it's like but once again you're connecting with people on a, di on a different level same with him yeah. okay it's a serious thing but there are people all day long who are like yo and that's it that's all they write is yeah. yo and but you're just like well, that's, well, they that's, have that freedom to do that well, I think. You know, quantity versus quality you know yeah. it's it's not really our, our place to judge that unfortunately. yeah that's I mean, paid, I, we all get paid to well, judge well you can judge yeah. it <laughs> that's why we're here <laughs> we're doing it <laughs> I mean well yes you can judge it you just can't stop it they have the right it. to do that yeah they yeah. have the rights yeah. to do that you just don't have to look at it yeah you know, or well, follow well, it yeah. what do you think about this idea that, that is is any of this connecting us more ultimately whether the people are just putting out food pictures or they're saying something really deep and profound. I mean, is it actually connecting us or are we now all going out to eat and sitting at our phone the whole time, taking pictures of our phone, and we forget who we're talking to. Yes yeah. and yes, yeah. actually. Yeah. I think it does connect us more, but it does tend to connect us to people who are more like-minded and keeps us in our little silos where we don't actually interact with other people so much. Now, it does mm -hmm. keep us connected with those people, you know, keeps me connected with my family. I love that. Yeah. But, you know, when you get into these silos, you know, this is how we get into the Fox News brain, where we have all these people who studies show, you know, know so little about actual facts in proportion to how much they watch Fox News. Right, and they're just so, reinforcing the same right. ideas. Right, so you know, it, it can yeah. help, it can also hurt, you know, it's, it's sort of a, a two-way street. Yeah. What interests me more about the Google Glass issue is just the privacy. I mean, I know we've given up so much of our privacy already that people don't know what's happened, but over in the European Union, they have much stronger controls yeah. over privacy and your content mm -hmm. and your data and how companies can use that. We don't have those protections here, so I think that this is this. I'm glad we're talking about it, but I don't know that we'll be able to talk I mean, about it before abuses begin. I'm being selfish, though, because as a comedian, if I'm wearing it on stage and I can look at people's the people's faces are sometimes hilarious because they get offended or they're booing yeah. or they're laughing. To then go look what I'm looking at, I think that's pretty cool. In, 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 that, in that regard, mm -hmm. but but then there's also like, <laughs> but when they're all sitting there wearing the glasses, <laughs> staring at you and tweeting out every bad well, joke, you then, that, that's, yeah. that, that's it. But I've been to some cool like orgy type parties that oh like that, God. you know, that those would be kind of cool <laughs> to have. Like, I mean, that's like, I have a pretty cool life sometimes. I, there are times yeah. that I do some Adam, cool my shit. My mother watches this. Uh, I don't want to hang out with you more. <laughs> 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 Bonobos.com is the official outfitter of the Rubin Report. Get this shirt. Use code TRR20 at Bonobos.com.